Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In the battle of undersea supremacy, silence is the key to survival and victory. And as we all know that nuclear attack submarines or SSNs are true submarines with the ability to stay and operate underwater almost indefinitely. Their endurance is limited only by food supplies for the crew members. Back in June 2021, Indian Navy's only nuclear attack submarine was returned to Russia, leaving a huge capability gap for Navy. And now, Indian Navy has two aircraft carriers with no nuclear attack submarines to be part of their carrier strike group. So, under Pulse 25 Alpha, the Indian Navy aims to procure nuclear powered attack submarines with displacement around 6,000 tons. The Government of India has approved the construction of six such submarines in February 2015. On 24th June 2019, it was reported that Rs 100 crore, that is 13 million US dollar, have been allocated for the initial phase of the project. These will be designed by Indian Navy's in-house Directorate of Naval Design, now called as Warship Design Bureau, and built in India at Shipbuilding Center in Vishakhapatnam. In February 2020, the Economic Times reported that preliminary design phase of the program has been successfully completed. The submarine design group of Navy, assisted by DRDO, is working on detailed design which is expected to be completed by 2025, post which the construction is expected to start. The first submarine is expected to enter service after 2032. On 14th June 2021, it was reported that Cabinet Committee on Security CCS is considering the proposal to build three nuclear attack submarines. The decision on building the next three will be taken after the completion of the first set. The first three nuclear attack submarines will have 95% indigenous content. These submarines are going to feature miniaturized pressure water reactor, hull from Mishra Dhatu Nigam and pump jet propulsion from DRDO. In June 2023, DRDO's NSTL has released a tender for optimization of high-speed vessels and evaluation of hydrodynamic performance under which we can see design of a new submarine, which seems to be of an SSN, that is nuclear attack submarine, under development. One of the noticeable features in the design is that the sail is positioned closer to the bow, which has been done possibly to make some space at the aft for vertical launch missile systems. Talking about pump jet propulsion, which is a very important technology, DIDU has already started working on this, which requires two important modules. The first one is marine engine and second one is the pump jet. If you look at the US Virginia class submarine, it is powered by one nuclear reactor of 210 megawatt, two steam turbines of 30 megawatt, and one primary and one secondary pump jet propulsor motor. This propulsion helps to drive submarine of almost 11,000 ton at a speed of 25 knots or 46 kilometers per hour. Now, DIDO is working on a pump jet propulsion which will have electrical engine motor that can generate a power of 525 kilowatt. DIDO is using the learning from the pump jet technology used in torpedoes to develop this prototype. This prototype will be scalable to massive 35 megawatt of power. DIDO is planning to develop one for prototype, one for qualification tests, and two for actual evaluation usage. It's driving this project via its technological development fund with collaboration of public or private firms together with foreign firms not having a stake more than 49%. BHEL also has experience in developing and deploying 20 megawatt motors. Going by the progress being made in this area, the pump jet propulsion can be easily developed indigenously. The nuclear submarine will be powered by a miniature pressurized water reactor PWR being developed by Bhava Atomic Research Center. PWR is already being used in Arihant class of submarines and can generate a power of up to 83 megawatts. India may seek French assistance for the nuclear reactor that run on low enriched uranium making the technology safe and future proof similar to Barracuda class of submarines. 
It has also been reported that France has offered India the design of the Barracuda class SSN along with retrofitting its pump jet propulsion with 190 megawatt pressurized water reactor. A tripartite memorandum of understanding was signed between Indian Navy, Bark and Hyderabad based ECIL on 10th July 2023. The MOU aims to facilitate indigenous development and production of 11 types of control systems and the multifunctional display and control consoles for the Indian Navy's projected six nuclear power attack submarines. These include systems used by 90 megawatt pressurized water nuclear reactors. Such systems were earlier imported from Russia's JSC concern Avrora SPA for S2, S3 and S4 class SSGNs of the Indian Navy. The trial batches of integrated developed and built control system will be delivered to Indian Navy's Hyderabad based Defence Machinery Design Establishment for type certification following which formal procurement contracts will be inked. The Mishra Dhatu Nigam along with NMRL is working on making a special alloy which will not have any ferromagnetic property and at the same time will have strong hull than arihant class of submarines the new alloy makes a submarine faster stronger and stealthier vibro acoustic tile is also going to be used in sonar dome to make submarines further stealthier sales pilai steel plant will be producing the special grade steel for the nuclear attack submarines this was today's update Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.